Hi, welcome to the next in the series, Understanding and Using Excel. This time we'll be looking at how to stop duplicate entries being entered into a column in Microsoft Excel. Let's look at some background information. The demonstration will cover the method of stopping duplicate entries being entered into a column. We're often frustrated after we enter data into a column in a worksheet when we see that duplicate values have been inadvertently entered. The solution is quite simple. We use data validation by entering a formula into a column or selected cells within the column. Just a couple of tips beforehand. As always, you can always pause the demonstration to read the screen contents or of course you can replay the demonstration as often as you want. You can also view the demonstration in full screen mode if you require. Don't forget to subscribe so you can be notified automatically of many more Excel hints, tips and procedures to come. Let's look at the demonstration. Again, as I hover my mouse over a cell, I will see that the comment appears. And in this case, we will read the comment through before we um, enter the data. If I move my mouse away, of course, the comment disappears. So Excel can guard against the entry of duplicate values in cells in a column. We use data validation in conjunction with a formula. We'll read about the procedure in this case first, then you can watch it being demonstrated. The first step is to select the cells or column that you want to stop duplicate values being entered into. Then we click the data tab above the ribbon and then in the ribbon we look for the data tools group and click data validation. The dialog box opens and we'll see three tabs, setting, input message and error alert. Make sure the settings tab is active and click allow. At the bottom of the list you'll see custom. Click it. That lets you type a formula and that formula is this equals count if and open a bracket followed by the cell range comma the first cell in the range close the bracket then a less than sign equal one. Enter that formula and click OK. Note that the cell range must be absolute, that is, dollar signs before the column and row addresses. For example, the range that we'll be selecting is B8 to B20. The formula would be equal count if, opening a bracket, dollar B, dollar 8, colon, dollar B, dollar 20, comma, B8, B8 being the first cell in the range. Close the bracket, less than equal 1. You can also enter your own error alert message if you wish, as we shall see. So I'm going to go ahead and select B8 down to B20. Those are the cells in which I want to stop duplicate entries being entered. I look for the data tab and click on data validation. Up pops the dialog box, the data validation dialog box. I click the drop arrow in the allow and go down to custom. The formula I type is equal count if open a bracket dollar b dollar eight colon dollar b dollar twenty comma b eight close the bracket less than equal one I can have my own error alert in there if I wish. I'll type an error message, duplicate value. So that will pop up if a duplicate value is entered. That's optional. Then I'll click OK. Now I'll enter some data into B8. Cat. Enter. Dog. Enter. Mouse. Enter. Dog. Enter. Ah, duplicate value. Retry. I'll change the dog to a cow. Followed by a horse. Followed by a mouse. Ah, the mouse already exists. So I'll retry there and I should have entered, we'll say, um, deer. So that's how I can stop duplicate entries in a range of cells. If I wanted to select an entire column, then I click on the column heading to select 
over a million cells right down column A. Then data, data validation. In the settings, I would allow a custom formula of equal count if. Open a bracket. This time, dollar $A colon dollar $A. And I want to start at uh, A1, we'll say. Dollar $A, incidentally, colon dollar $A selects all of those cells. And then less than equal to 1. I won't put an error alert in this time. I'll see what the custom error uh, alert comes up, or the default uh, error alert comes up, and I'll click OK. And now here in A1, I'll type uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3. This time I see the default entry. I'll cancel that, and that clears the cell. So that's the way that I stop duplicate values being entered into cells. Thank you so much for watching, and remember that there will be many more Excel hints and tips made available as time goes on.